our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. The plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. Hello everyone, welcome to I am the change. I'm Michelle Kelly, and this started off as my New Year's resolution in 2019, stating out loud that I was breaking up with fear, shame, and guilt. Out loud, followed by a weekly video for the entire year, and it's almost the end of year four, so... I've been consistent. I haven't missed a week, which is amazing. Um, 2020 was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself and others, which I'm still working on. 2021 was to break up with processed sugar, which I don't even know where I got processed sugar as opposed to just breaking up with sugar. So anyway, um, I am now almost 18 months abstinent of sugar, flour, wheat, and caffeine. So that's like a miracle, but that didn't happen right away when I began. And then last year was to add an income to what it is that I do, and I'm still working on that. And then this year was not to weigh myself every freaking day. So I put the scale away. I first was doing it every other day. Then I put it away and then I took it back out and I am weighing myself once a week. So um, I'm still not doing it every single day, which is great. And I'm not even doing it every other day. So once a week is pretty good. Um, you know, I expect myself to I set these expectations on myself and then expect myself to do it. And a lot of times I set unrealistic expectations on myself. And usually when I do that, I do, you know, 10 or 15 of them at the time. And usually when I operate like that, it is very hard to be sustainable. So um, then I just say, screw it, and I stop doing everything. But what I keep learning is to start off small. I'm getting my words back, by the way. To start off small and slow, and then I can incorporate more in. Instead of starting off with a ton of things at once and then getting so overwhelmed that I just quit everything because it's just too much or I just beat the crap out of myself because it's too much. So I think that's one of the reasons why I've been able to keep on with doing this video every week is because I didn't start off saying, I'm going to do seven videos every week, you know, like, and then it just got to be too much. Um, so I'm learning not to overwhelm myself and to set reasonable expectations upon myself and not just upon myself on other people too. Like I might not be able to do it, but you should be able to do it. And especially if you're doing it for me, you should be able to do it. So, um, and I'm learning everyone is human and everyone falls off of the pedestal. You know, I was brought up where 
certain people because of their jobs or what they did that they were more important than me or their time was more important than mine. And I have learned that we are all the same and our time is all of equal value and our lives are of equal value. And I truly, honestly believe that. I feel that way. I am no longer intimidated by anybody, which is a gift. And um, I don't feel like an imposter at all. And it's funny because my lawyer called me last night and my smoke alarm went off when I was cooking my dinner, which is, you know, normal. And I'm like, don't worry, I got it. No. <laughs> so anyway, it was fine. But, um, you know, or I shout, Alexa, you know, stop or off or whatever. Um, that's just real life. And it happens all the time. And it, it happens to everybody, not just because somebody does a certain job and I don't. So, you guys, I've been keeping you updated about my health because I feel like, my God, it is my job right now is taking care of myself. And I feel a lot of embarrassment and shame when I talk about my health and, um, and fear, like, because I broke up with it in 2019. It's supposed to be gone but it was embedded in my body for over, so I'm gonna be 52 on Halloween, just so you know. I am accepting presents, so if you wanna send me one, I say thank you. Um, so anyway, or even hello, or a nice message, and thank you for, I forgot to say last week, thank you for all your prayers too, and for everybody praying for me, and their suggestions because I, you know, I have been struggling with my health and I've been telling you guys, I've been on different medicines and they've been making, you know, I've been having side effects from the medicine and I got diagnosed with C P no C R P S complex regional pain syndrome. And it is, um, an autoimmune disease of your nerves. So it's like, I, the best, I keep thinking it's like fibromyalgia, but instead of like your muscles, it's of your nerves. So I think it's more like, like shingles all the time, but it's of my upper extremities. So it is so painful. And um, I was on this medicine and it was making me not right but it took the nerve pain away and that's what I loved about it. But the side effects were so big and you guys saw them. And I wanna say thank you to everybody who reached out, who gave their opinion. I'm off of it, by the way, the Toper Mate. And I'm now on something new and I wrote it down because I can't even say it. Ox Car Busy, I can't even say it, pine. So ox carbon bazana pine, I can't say it. Um, should probably not be taking stuff I can't even pronounce. But anyway, I started that on Monday night and I got energy right away. I told the doctor, don't give me anything that can make me tired. I already have depression and sleeping is not an issue for me. But I had a couple of good days last week and I thought I was turning the corner and then it came right back. So I think I just had two good days because I was really busy. Um, so I switched and now all the pain is back. And I just had an ablation done in my neck today. So they like burn some of the nerves. So it it puts them to sleep, to rest. I'm like, can't we just kill the nerves? No, they're taking a nap and I don't know how long they're gonna sleep for, but hopefully it'll give me some relief. It's not gonna get rid of everything, but something is better than nothing. And this new medicine I'm on doesn't make me tired, which is awesome. However, the pain is coming back of the nerves. So today I could barely walk. But yesterday, I got to walk in my neighborhood. Not far, but a little bit. It is the first time I walked 
on purpose in my neighborhood in over a year. So, um, miracles are happening. Some, you know, I feel like sometimes like I go two steps ahead and then go three back and then, so it is a process and, um, I'm still plugging along. I am, I'm going to leave you guys with this one and this is going to be a to be continued. I'm going to visit my son, Angelo in North Carolina in December and I'm riding with my ex-husband to go visit him. So um, you guys will have to stay tuned for more on that. So this is your sign signing off. Thank you so much to everyone who's watching, who's sending me um, prayers. And if you know anything about this medicine that I'm taking or have any opinions or side effects or anything you know about it, please let me know because I'm, you know, it could take two to four weeks before it kicks in. And I, I, I want stuff, you know, yesterday, 20 minutes. I hate having to wait. So um, I'm just praying that I can walk and stand up and not be in a ton of pain. And that's it. I'm shutting up. I will see you all next week. So thanks again.